let's hitch a ride. We're gonna learn how to fold your trail arm in the backswing. Now, the basic movement is this. You just take your arm, put it on your chest, put your other hand on here, and hitch a ride. Hitch a ride. That's it. Now there are a few caveats. One, your bicep. I don't want it over here on your side. I don't want it at an angle. I want it on your chest. In fact, I want you to try to take your elbow and put it in this notch in your chest. The other thing I want you to do is I want this crease in your elbow to be facing toward the sky. I don't want you to do sideways, face it toward the sky. So get your elbow here, everything turned, relax your hand so it comes to a 90 degree angle, hit your rod, hit your rod, hit your rod. Now I want you to bring this arm pretty much vertical. When you do this, just go hit your rod, hit your rod. Bring this arm vertical. Now, I know this breaks this 90 degree rule for your arm everybody talks about. Don't worry about it for now. When we get the other arm involved, it'll regulate this arm and bring it out to 90 degrees. But the worst thing you can do is practice like this, okay? Don't do this. Bring your arm vertical. Just hit your rod. Hit your rod. Now that we've learned how to do the movement, let's practice it. We're gonna do a hundred iterations of this. This is where your clicker comes in handy. Now hundred's a magic number for practicing. It kind of gets you mentally that you can do something and you, you've learned it. So let's get started. To ride, two, three, four, five. Now I only want you to do five iterations at a time. The reason is you'll learn it better than trying to rush everything through. It's been shown that when you take a break in the middle of learning stuff by repetition, that's, that stuff sinks in better. So here we go again. Hit your ride. Two, three, four, five, Let's look at it from the side as I do it. One, two, three, four, five. Use your clicker and keep your count. Because if you keep your count, then you'll know what's going on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can do it at any angle, actually. <laughs> Let's try something different. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, we want the bicep here, not on the side. We want it up on the chest. One, two, three, four, five. We want to put this elbow in this notch. We're kind of overdoing it for practice, but that's good. It's better to overdo it in practice a little bit than underdo it. So, one, two, three, four, five. And we also want this elbow crease up toward the sky. We don't want it sideways. Get it there, let your hand relax. One, two, three, four, five.
Jen, you need to raise the hand up so your arm is vertical. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, 45, that hasn't taken too long, has it? One, two, three, four, five. Halfway there. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, we want to get your bicep up on your chest. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to try to put this elbow right in this notch here. So really get it on your chest. One, two, three, four, five. Crease up toward the sky. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're at 70 already. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do it this way. Get your elbow on your chest. You have to raise your arms to get your elbow on your chest. Do that. One, two, three, four, five. Try to put this elbow in this notch. We're going to get it across your chest. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, the worst thing you can do is keep your hand, over, bicep, over here as you're trying to do this exercise. It needs to come on top of your chest. And again, raise it up if you can't get it on your chest. Raise your arm up and pull it over, then drop it down onto your chest. One, two, three, four, five. Remember to go vertical with your arm. One, Two, three, four, five. Remember to take a break in between. One, two, three, four, five. And that's 100. Now that didn't take very long. And most of the practice moves in origami golf are like that. You could do 100 in just a few minutes, but it's a great mental help to know that you've done 100 and really drilled it in. Now, if you don't feel like you've got it, do some more, do another 100. It only takes a few minutes. 
This is Hitching a Ride in Oregon Golf. In the Hitch a Ride lesson, I tell people to keep their bicep on top of their chest. Now this is different than most golf instructors who say just let your arms kind of hang loose at your side. Something else most golf instructors teach, when you get to the top of your swing, what's the first move they teach you to make on the downswing? Tuck your elbow. This is right out of the Hogan book. It's been taught for decades. Millions of golfers have learned it. But what happens if you start with your elbow on top of your chest? Go to your top of your back swing. Your elbow is already tucked. There's no move to make. What we're doing is we're eliminating a move from your golf swing, making it simpler. Simpler means less can go wrong. 